Uh, welcome to once again to Menalize TV and today we are looking at transformations and then under this transformation we have these four subtopics reflection, rotation, translation by giving vector and then enlargement by scale factor. Now reflection, rotation and translation by giving vector we call them rigid motions because whatever you do to them the size and the shape of the figure will not change but when you come to enlarging by scale factor the size of the, of the object may change and that's why this one is not part of the rigid motion now we'll take that one by one then after that we we'll draw the graph and see how it is being done so when we come to reflection so reflection we have two types of reflections one is reflection on x as it's when you are reflecting on x axis, the y is zero. Then you also have reflection on y axis, where the x is zero. So now, when you have x, y as a point, and you are reflecting this on x axis, the y coordinate will take a negative. Since we are going to reflecting on y axis, we have the point x, y. It will map to minus x y the a is one comma one so this one comma one when you are reflecting it on x as x we know that the value of y is is negative so then we have one comma negative one now b is one four so when you reflect it on x as x it's going to be one comma negative four the same way we have three one here it becomes 3 comma negative 1 which to reflect it on y axis here the x is 0 which means that the values that we have as a coordinate of x they are all going to be negatives so when you look at it x map x comma y map to minus x y so when you have the first point 1 comma 1 The 1 comma 1 here is going to be negative 1 comma 1 and then the b which is 1 4 is going to be minus 1 4 and then the last but not the least the c which is 3 1 becomes minus 3 1 so here we have the number plane we are going to do the reflection both on x axis and y axis on the number plane. So first we are going to draw the point that we have, then after that we are going to reflect them. So this is the number plane from my left to the right, that is the x axis, from the top to the down, that is the y axis one. So we are going to draw the object first before you reflect it on x axis as well as reflecting it on the y axis. Now when we say one comma one, the x is positive and then the y2 is positive. So here we have the positive values of x and then the top we have the positive values of y. So 1, 1, this one we have our 1, one. so our a there is 1, 1. Then we also have our b which is 1, 4. So we have the 1 and the 4 here. That's my b, 1, 4. And then my c which is 3, 1. So 3, 1 is here, C, 3, 1. So we are not going to join the point to form a triangle. Now since the object is here, we want to reflect it on the x axis. So the x axis is this line going through, but the one that is closer to the object is this line. So when we say we are reflecting on x axis, that means this x axis becomes the mirror line. So when you put a mirror here, definitely the object will reflect here for us to get the image. So we are going to draw the image as well. So we know that on the x axis, the y is negative. So the first point we have here, one, negative one, that's our a, one, one comma negative one. Then we have our b, one, which is one, negative four. So one, negative four here. Yeah. 
Then we have the last one, three negative ones. So we have our three negative ones here. That's my C1, three, comma, negative one. So we are going to join these points to form a triangle as well. So this is the object and this is the image and this is the reflection on x axis to the object so we are reflecting this object on y axis so when you look at it on y axis the coordinates of x axis here they are negative and that of y are positive so when we have one one here the x axis coordinates are hot negative so it becomes negative one one so our a to here is negative one one so the second point, which is 1 for B, which is 1 for, becomes 1, negative 1 for here. So our B2, negative 1, comma 4. And the C, as in the object, is 3, 1. So reflecting on Y as it becomes negative 3, 1. So we are now going to join the point to form a triangle. So as you can see, the object here, the first image is the reflection on x axis or the reflection on the line y is equal to zero. And the second image that we have here is the reflection on the line x is equal to zero or reflection on y axis. So when you look at this, on the y axis, reflection on y axis, all the coordinates of the x axis are all negatives. Now when you come to the reflection on x axis, all the coordinates of the y axis are all negatives. Thanks so much for watching today's episode. Remember to subscribe to the channel Menalize TV for more update. Thank you.